Today we're going to be taking a look at the best hitch options for your 2010 Dodge Grand Caravan. Up top here we're going to have our e-trailer hitch which is going to be a class 3. Right below that we'll have our draw tight that's also a class 3. And then finally at the bottom we'll have our Kurt, again a class 3 hitch. And since all of our hitches are going to be a class 3 hitch, they're all going to give us that 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube opening and have a lot of different accessories available that we can mount in them all the way from a ball mount, a bike rack, or even a cargo carrier. Now regardless if you're towing and you're using a ball mount or you're just using it for a bike rack, all the accessories going into each one of our hitches is going to use a standard 5 8 pin and clip to secure them. However, in the draw tight, you'll notice there is going to be a secondary hole towards the opening on our receiver, and that's going to be exclusively for the J-pin stabilization device. And that's just going to make sure whatever accessory you do have mounted in there isn't going to rattle around and make any noise, and it is also a locking device. And you can pick up the J-pin separately here at eTrailer.com. And as for our e-trail and our Kurt, there is still anti-rail devices and locking devices that will work with these, they're just not that J-pin style. Aside from all three hitches being a class 3, they're all going to have a very similar design to each other, which means they're going to look the same on our caravan. The cross tube is going to be behind the bumper, and all we're going to see is that receiver tube sticking out. And since they're going to share such a similarity when it comes to design, they're going to install exactly the same. None of them are require any kind of drilling, and they're all going to use factory hardware. So we're just going to have to simply pull out a couple of bolts, put our hitch up, and then replace it. Now some of the instructions do say that it may be required to cut the fascia in order for the receiver tube to fit. But we found that none of them require cutting. It's just going to be a tight fit against the fascia. And personally, I would rather not cut it. That way if I ever did remove the hitch, I don't have a hole at the bottom of my fascia. Now as far as the weight capacity goes, all of our hitches are going to have the same capacity. They're each going to have a 400 pound tongue weight, which is the maximum downward force at the receiver tube along with a 4,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. That's the amount they can pull, including the trailer and everything we have loaded on it. If you do plan on doing some towing, each one of these hitches is rated for use with weight distribution systems as well. It's gonna bump the tongue weight up to 500 pounds and the gross trailer weight rating up to 5,000 pounds. Now with all those numbers in mind, you should always double check your Grand Caravan's owner's manual and never exceed the manufacturer's recommended weight. One more difference between our hitches is going to be the finish. Each one is going to have its own unique finish to it. Our Kurt's going to have a high gloss black powder coat finish, which is going to be pretty standard on most hitches. The draw tight's going to have a black powder coat finish, but it's not going to be quite as shiny as the Kurt. It's more of a semi-gloss finish. The e trailer is going to have a flat black carbide finish, which is going to blend in really nice at the bottom of our Grand Caravan and be less noticeable. And since it is a flat black, it's going to hide scratches and dirt a lot better than the really shiny material. With all three of our hitches being so similar, it's really going to come down to which hitch you like the looks of the most or if you have brand loyalty. But we hope this information has helped you whenever looking for a hitch for your Dodge Grand Caravan. 